hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to discuss how to get multiple bibliographies in the same latex document for this purpose we shall take the technic center editor and a simple file like this we use document class article and of course we use multi bib package we also use hyper ref package remember to put the hyper ref package after multi bib package then there are new commands available like this new sites i may call one of them as main the other one as supplementary supp and in the second pair of curly braces i shall give main references so that this appears in the output and in the second case what i want is supplementary references to appear in the output this way you can list new sites one after another in separate lines or you can also say in the first pair of curly braces you can list them separated by commas i am using a comma b for a specific purpose which will become clear later in the first case i want this to be in the appearing in the output main references in the first case and the supplementary references in the second case normally with the bibliography we have four commands available site no site bibliography bibliography style with multi bib package each of these four commands are cloned into site a site b no site a no site b and so on let us take the document instead of site you will say site a and then the labels and you can have two more items in the first case i use the bibliography style a plain and there i am using two bib files book.bib and art.bib in another section i will use not site or site a i will use site b here also i will use site b then bibliography style b will be plain and bibliography b will be the same bib files remember the purpose of using multi bib package is to have different styles for the list of references in the document in the first case it can be plain in the second case it can be alpha but for a specific purpose i am using here plain one second first remove the auxiliary files compile them you have zero errors now normally we run biptech on the main file dot ax but for this particular case use a command prompt navigate to the folder in which you have got the main file and then say biptech a remember we have used new sites as a and b therefore use here biptech a and then biptech b after this you compile the file twice like this what i mean to say is on the whole you will first use pdf latex on the main file biptech on the two auxiliary files independently and again you will run pdf latex twice on the main file on the whole there will be five compilations the output will be like this in the first case 1 2 3 4 etc and then here you have the supplementary information etc etc now notice that 
if you want to cite references that you have already cited in the first section you should use the cite command from the first section but here we have used the cite command from the second section that is why we have here 5 and 6 in this case the reference will still be cited according to the first numbering scheme here it ends with 4 and this starts with the next number 5 but it will show up once again in your second bibliography as well therefore if you say here a remove the axillary files compile them and then biptech b a and then compile this twice you will find here this is 5 and then only one of them is cited here and the cross reference as 6 here this number is from the first section 2 and 4 now suppose you don't want this number to continue from the first section what you can do is you can say in the options for multi babe you can say reset labels when you reset labels this number will become 1 when you compile this once again cross referencing will also become 1 and again if you think that this number 1 will be confusing with uh, this number 1 you can say labeled in that case the first list of references will be marked as a1 a2 a3 and the second list will be marked as b1 b2 b3 compile it once again this will become b1 and uh, here you will find a1 a2 a3 etc as i mentioned already this uh, bibliography style for the second section can be different from the first in that case you have to run biptech file on the two axillary files independently instead of b1 it will become like this when you uh, compile it once again this will be cross reference correctly there is uh, another package available for this purpose that package is called bip topic with bip topics we can have only site and not site a or site b etc and then we can have bt bip topic section bt section and this is a style file plain and this is a bibliography file book dot bib and uh, if you want you can give a section title for this also and then you can say end bt sec similarly you can have another bt sec environment here the style file can be different alpha and uh, the bibliography file can be different now as before first clear the axillary files compile then go, navigate to the folder in which you have got this main file now you will say bit tag then the main file name suffixed by one dot x and two again compile this twice
द फस्ट लिस्ट आफ रेफरस ईज इन प्लेन फार्मेट द सेकेंड लिस्ट आफ रेफरस ईज इन आलफा फार्मेट हियर यू विल फैंड द क्रॉस रेफरसिंग ईज डन करेक्टली नोटिस दैट वी हेव यूज ओनली item bib item 2 and bib item 3 this reference is not at all cited in the text however it will also appear in the output because we have given here bib topic print all this is equivalent to the no cite star command that we have been using with the bibliography files plain bibliography files now suppose your bib file is very large even if you are going to use one or two references from that bib file this will compile the entire bib file therefore it tells upon the speed of the computer with the modern day computers perhaps this is not a problem now to illustrate another point let me take here also plain i compile this then multi bib 2 multi bib 1 let me compile this twice you find here in the first section the references are numbered 1 2 3 in the second section the uh, list continues here after 3 4 and 5 suppose we want to reset this then what we have to do is we have to use the bt unit environment suitably enclose the whole of the first section in bt unit and similarly the whole of the second section in another bt unit environment run bibpack on the auxiliary files twice compile pdf latex twice you will find here what was previously numbered as 4 5 etc are now numbered as 1 2 etc again in the first case suppose we say print not cited this item is not cited you may wonder whether to run bib bibtek here already we have run the bibtek for the entire file therefore it is readily available therefore you can just use pdf latex another thing is you can say bt print only cited then you will find here only cited items will be referred to here now there is another package available and that is bib topic prefix with the bib topic prefix bib topic is automatically loaded therefore you need not explicitly load bib top again clear all the auxiliary files use pdf latex and then say again multi bib 1 multi bib 2 run bib pack on these two files compile pdf latex twice then you will find the references here what you find here is as the name suggests we have used here a prefix for the references see we have used renew command bib prefix bk hyphen similarly in the second case we have used bib prefix art minus that is why in the first case you have bk hyphen appearing as prefix not only in the list but also in the cross references similarly in the second case art hyphen appear as a prefix 
in both the list as well as in the cross reference otherwise this is similar to bib topic again we use the command bt sect command and then the style file followed by the bib files in both the cases i have used here in both the cases plain style file suppose you say it is a different alpha then you need not use bib prefix automatically it will be different therefore you need not use it first remove the auxiliary files compile this once and then run bib tech on the two auxiliary files compile this twice you will find here the alpha style and here the plain style with the prefix bk and with this we complete our discussion on multiple bibliographies in the same latex document we will continue in another video thank you very much for watching